In this quick video, I'm gonna walk you through what an input to a phantom is and what options we have available to us when setting up our phantoms. Okay, so in this example, we're gonna use a sales navigator search export and kick off with using a single URL as our search input. So if we're gonna do that, you'll see here it says sales navigator search URL. If you're using a LinkedIn search export, that would read LinkedIn search URL. So really simply, all we do is go to our search in uh, sales navigator in this case, I have a, a search for everybody working in Phantom Buster. And all I'm going to do is open to the address bar, copy that value and paste it into the input box here and click save. OK, so next option is using a keyword search. So if we've selected keywords here, we have a dialog box here where we can add in our keywords. So in this example, the Phantom is going to replicate the behavior of you logging in to sales navigator and performing a search by adding in a keyword like that and that's a search that will come up there is a slight difference in the results of a keyword search like that you'll see here there's 122 results versus if i was actually to use the current company as phantom buster i have 60 results so the keyword search is probably a little bit more less accurate then if you're going to filter down your searches, but still possible to use as an input for your phantom. OK, so next option is actually using the results file from another phantom. So if I select phantoms here, it's going to give me a drop down list with a list of result files from previous phantoms that I've used um, and have completed and have a results file attached to it. So if I select uh, my drop down here, You'll see here I have a sales navigator account scraper. Now the reason that this is showing up is because there is a sales navigator search URL contained in that results file. You'll see here that we have a employee search URL. Uh, so to give you some background to that, I've run a sales navigator account scraper and with the sales navigator account scraper, you get a decision maker search URL and you also get an employee search URL. Um, and that will be contained in your results file, which we can see in here. So you see here we have decision maker search URL and employee search URL. So if you're going to use another phantom as your input, you need to make sure that it's compatible and that the uh, search URL that you want to use to scrape is contained in the results file of that phantom. OK, so finally, we're going to look at using a spreadsheet URL for our phantom input. This is particularly common in cases where we need to feed the phantom multiple search URLs. An example of this might be if your sales navigator search has more than two and a half thousand results because sales navigator only displays the first two and a half thousand. You'll need to break that search down into multiple searches and provide the phantom with multiple URLs for that search so you can pull all of the results. So really, really straightforward. <clears throat> we have a in our input here, we're going to paste the uh, URL of the spreadsheet. So if we go into my spreadsheet here. I have an example with two columns. The first column is just the name of the search, just so I can keep track of all the searches that I have. The second column is the column where the URL that is going to be scraped is contained. One really important thing we have to look at is when we're giving the URL of the Google spreadsheet to the phantom, it has to be publicly accessible. So make sure that it, the general access of the sheet is set to anyone with the link. So then that will allow us to copy the spreadsheet URL and then populate it here in the input. Now, uh, when you do that, I'm gonna drop down into the spreadsheet settings because we need to tell it what column we're feeding the URLs from. Now, if you don't have your spreadsheet set up in multiple columns and you just have all the search URLs in the uh, first column, the Phantom will pick that up. So a few things just to note before we proceed is there's a few settings here that are particularly important when feeding in multiple search URLs. The first one is the number of results to export per search URL. So you can actually set how many results you want the phantom to scrape from each individual URL. 
Uh, the second is the results to export per launch. So that's the launch of the actual Phantom. And then lastly, you've got rows in your spreadsheet to, to, uh, to process per launch. So if, for example, you might have 10 URLs, you can set that between one and 10. Um, and obviously this is gonna depend, that number will depend on your two settings above. Um, but effectively what will happen is the Phantom will cycle through each of the search URLs and scrape the number of results based on what you've set. Uh, another important thing to note is that the Phantom will always remember where it's picked up last, so you don't need to specify which URL to start at any particular launch. It'll always understand which URL it scraped last and will pick up from exactly where it went off, even if that needs to be the exact same URL.